Hey, so I'm in the bathroom, fooling with my hair, but um, I just got off our singles prayer line and I really wanted to share what we talked about tonight. Um, the key word tonight was confidence. And this is something that I struggled with and kind of still do. Um, I don't want to say struggle, but choosing confidence. How about that? Because confidence is a choice. Um, it's not something that you um, can pick up off the floor and, and just, you know, have. You have to constantly choose to be confident. Um, and I'm just going to read the verse that we uh, read from. It was First John 5 starting at verse 14 and it says this is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have what we've asked of him and the beginning of that verse says this is the confidence that we have so um, confidence means to be sure or to be certain of something and um, I know a lot of times if, if you're like this or been like this, because I have, um, when you're praying to God, um, you may feel like you're throwing wishes into a wishing well or you are rubbing a genie hoping that something will happen. Um, and reality is that's not the kind of relationship God has with his people. Um, he's way more committed than that. And he operates off of the faith of his people, which is um, confidence as well. Confidence in God and believing in God. And um, I really want us to understand this concept here. Um, we have to know or be confident or be certain that we are God's children. Um, in order for us to approach God, in order for us to pray to him and expect him to activate or act on what we're praying, um, we have to believe and be certain that, okay, he is God. I am his child. I have access to him. I know a lot of times um, we look at ourselves and we uh, down ourselves like really bad and we think that we're not worthy of of God doing anything for us and we think sometimes or does he hear our prayer or will he will he answer my prayer and things like that and um, that really comes from not knowing who we are not knowing our identity um, when when God came into our lives when we became saved he changed our very nature we came from a sinful nature, not having no kind of way or connection of God to a whole brand new, pure nature. His Holy Spirit is pure, is perfect. He put his spirit inside of us and we became a new creation. So right off the jump, we, we had we have access to God. And it does not depend on our outer exterior. It does not depend on the things that we do. Um, that does not mean that, of course, because um, a lot of people could get it twisted that I could just do whatever I want to do and still have um, the benefits of what God has for us. And that's not what I'm saying. Um, what I'm saying is our very nature puts us in a place of confidence um, that we are his children and that he hears us and that he loves us and that he wants the best for us and he is acting on our behalf. So, I believe we will, when we go before God, we will have a better sense and a better understanding and um, be more willing to go to God if we realize um, that we are we are his children. We already have access. Um, he changed the nature of us and gave us access to him. And because of that, we should be confident. We should be certain that when we pray his will, and the key thing in that uh, along with confidence is praying his will. Um, God says as long as we're praying his will, he hears us. And if he hears, if we know that, um, he hears us, then whatever we ask for, then it's as good as done. Um, we got to be confident that our prayers are reaching him, that the, the prayers that we are praying of his will are reaching him. And how do you know his will? How do you get to learn God's will or his desire? That's what his will is. It's really by reading his word, reading his word, and reading his word. It's by spending time with him. You don't know a person's heart unless you speak to them, unless you spend time with them. And that is key. Um, praying his will is as good as done. And we have the confidence that it's as good as done. So take that confidence into your everyday life. As I am practicing to choose confidence every single day, I encourage you to do the same as young women, especially young, saved um, and single women like myself. Uh, we may get it twisted sometimes and think that 
uh, we're the last in line or that we are the third wheel and things like that but reality is our our existence our confidence is not dependent on relationship status it's, it's not dependent on um, our outer exterior this world is full of comparison you have women um, you know feel like they're not worth anything unless their hair and their nails and their makeup and their clothes is on point um, but that's not where our confidence lies so everywhere you go uh, remind yourself that you have the power to change the atmosphere be confident of who you are that when you walk into an atmosphere you are light in darkness and you are changing that atmosphere you have the power to change that atmosphere we must be confident we must be certain that we are young women of God or, or seasoned women of God whoever may be watching this video but we are women of God we must be confident and certain that um, what God has for us is for us and whatever that was in the past if it's not in our lives now it's not here for a reason that person is not in our lives for a reason and that what we are reaching forward or toward is greater than what we have ever left behind we have to be confident in that we have to be certain that God has the best for us we have to be certain that we are saved and that we are his children and that he loves us and we have access to him we have to be certain or confident that we are his children, that we are young women or men of God. We have to be confident that when we walk into an atmosphere, even when we're not speaking out of our mouths that we're saved or when we're not, you know, making things, making the atmosphere known that, hey, I'm a Christian, that when we're silently praying, be confident that God hears that prayer and that he's he's he wants to hear your heart. He wants you to pray so he can activate some things, so he can shift some things around in the, in the spiritual realm. We have to be confident that we are light in the dark. Remember this, darkness can never overpower light. It's just a law of nature. When light comes in the room, everything that was now dark is illuminated. God is, or Jesus is light. The light is now living inside of us. So everywhere we go, we light up the room. We light up the atmosphere people gravitate toward light so be confident that your light is overpowering darkness and is changing the atmosphere one thing that i've learned and i continue to um, um tell myself is no one is above influence as we can see everybody's influenced by something the rap game the uh industry the, the <clears throat> social media and everything and everything that's going around people are influenced by that so obviously you can see that nobody is above influence right so i want us to be confident and just to encourage us all um, no matter who you run into no matter how famous somebody is no matter how much money somebody has no matter how good or whatever somebody looks like i don't care how uppity somebody may seem i don't care how how closed off how angry somebody may seem that they're not no one is ever above influence and your light influences other people you have the power to change somebody's atmosphere to bring somebody up a notch to encourage somebody to to pray for somebody your presence just your smile and your encouraging word encourages people it changes atmosphere is atmosphere but we have to be confident we have to be certain that we are that light that we know who we are because if we don't there's no way that it can be effective because God only operates he operates through us by faith if we're not believing, if we're not certain of it, then how can it come to pass? How can it be so? So, young woman, be confident. Young man, be confident every single place that you go. Confidence, being certain, is the answer, and it is a choice. And I'm striving to choose that every single day. First John 5 and 14, stay encouraged.